So for you Mavic 4 Pro lovers, today we're going to cover waypoints. And I'd like to call this a masterclass, but I can't really do that. Uh, and the reason being is this has got the rotatable lens and you can uh, program that into the waypoints, but it's not all plain sailing uh, or plain flying, should I say. It has some limitations. I run into a few issues. So I will show you those so you can see what works and what doesn't work. But before we get out there, I just want to show you, I was sent this. It's by Lycus. It's the M400 Titan. It's as hard as nails. It's bulletproof IP67. There's a nice rubbery handle and a, a pressure valve, so great on airplanes. Uh, you push these in and then flick these up. Uh, masses of, of strong padding, and you can get your battery chargers, all your batteries in here, cables, both uh, um, screens, RCs will fit in here, your drone, and you can get filters in and other accessories like your props. So lovely bit of kit, it's got a steel a hinge right the way through there. So this is a real tough, lovely bit of kit. But no further ado, let's get out there and do these waypoint missions. We're just going to do some waypoint missions on this uh, building over here. It's a construction site, it's uh, a job we're actually commissioned to do, but I thought good opportunity to do some waypoints. It'll look good for the customer. And I can just show you how it can work uh, on the controller, uh, on the drone, how to set it up. And also we've got the settings where we can do the gimbal roll in the waypoints now, as well with this drone. So let's just get the drone up in the air and... Uh... Right, we can see our venue here. Now the first thing we're going to do, click on the waypoint mission symbol on the left hand side and I'm going to fly over the location. I'm going to look right down. over the front entrance and I'm going to click the point of interest, click the C1 button and that creates my point of interest and I'm going to go to waypoints. So let's just look at that point of interest. So you can see it's given the altitude of the actual drone. So what we're going to do is change that right now to let's call it three meters high, two or three meters high. So that's where the drone's always going to look when I link it to the waypoints. Let's just go back, make sure we're on waypoints. And then we're just going to put our drone into positions. So what I want it to do is from 45 degrees, fly down towards the building uh, get closer to the ground, then fly out so we can avoid all the trees by presetting the mission. So we've got the drone quite high up there. I'm going to click the C1 button, which is this one here. And that's created my first waypoint. And then I'm going to fly it over my target point there we are and again I'm going to create my second waypoint in a random direction we're only 40 meters high now create our next waypoint there we go. So now we're going to go to our point of interest. We're going to click on our point of interest. Sorry, select, um, select your waypoints where it says none and then click apply to all and you can see all three are now highlighted. 
that means the waypoints will always point to the point of interest we set up at the beginning. Now at the first waypoint, we want it to start recording. And you can see point of interest heading one. And then at the last one, we want it to stop recording. And global speed. I'm going to make this fast so we get a really dynamic shot here. And you can see, you can choose your different camera. But we're going to keep it on the wide for this. Um, and then um, end of flight, I want it to hover. Uh, lost signal, return to height, return to home. Waypoint one is the start point as we wanted. And now we can press go. So as you can see, we're just going off uh, to our first waypoint. And there you can see the drone dropping into the location, spinning around and pulling out at high speed, really dramatic, fabulous. So we're going to just fly the drone round to the front of the location, hit the C1 button, this button on the back here. And we've got our point of interest if we click on that I'm just going to just drop that down to two meters okay I'll go back to waypoints and then we're just going to pull the drone back click C1 as our first waypoint So, and again, you can see random direction. Press the C1 button. Next, we can go point of interest. Click on that point of interest. Click the waypoint, think waypoints. Click select all. That's selected all the waypoints. So we'll always look at that point we created, which is over the entrance, two meters off the ground. So whatever height the drone is, it'll point at that. If I didn't change that to two meters and left it as it was, it would just always look out at the horizon. At that point, it would just look out. So that wouldn't help us isolate our main point of interest, our subject. Go back to our waypoints. Waypoint one, we want it to start recording. A little gimbal roll. Well, it's at 60 degrees. Waypoint two, no gimbal roll, no action. That's all good. Point three, camera action, stop recording, gimbal roll. Minus 40. Click on three little dots and we'll again go for maximum speed. And we'll just keep this on the wide angle, otherwise we'll be too close. Click go. And the drone is off. You can see here in relation to the other waypoints where it's going. So it's going to its first one, setting itself up. You can see from the screen the actions it's going to create. Let's 
turning. Turn the roll on. Okay, so there's some little glitches there in this tilt rotation. Definitely not very happy with that. Let's cancel the turn to home. Let's see if we can just adjust that and if it makes any difference. Gimbal. Let's just do it a little bit. Point three. Let's do a... Let's see if that makes a difference. And what's happening is clearly as the gimbal is tilting down, it's not allowing the full rotation that we'd set in. Let's see if we can lessen that rotation and get our shot. Feel we're having more luck with this one, and actually that looks sweet. So what we want to show on this part of the Waypoint mission is how we can just make it fly in, hover for a minute, uh, and then fly out. We start a new Waypoint mission. There's point one. Let's see. Point two, point three, point of interest right above me, point one, let me join it out of the way so you can hear me. Okay, point one, select all, that's linked to all, will be zero meters, come back, waypoints. Waypoint one, start recording. Waypoint three, stop recording. Waypoint two, hover for one second, come back. End of flight, hover. Global speed, max. So let's see how this plays out. We're going to our start point. Time to look at us, being the point of interest. Start recording. Fly in. Hover. For a second and fly out. Ah, oh, that worked perfectly. Perfect. And there we have it. Good way of doing a speed ramp but programmed into your waypoints. Well, I hope you found that useful. You've learned something there. I enjoyed covering all of that. I learned a lot. Now, if you want to see more videos, you can check out the playlist over here. Please show me the love. Subscribe to the channel by clicking.